Morris is, Close one. Use, has given you a gift or what? Yeah, uh, you know, for the last uh, six years, the city government of Legazpi has been in the forefront of the campaign of uh, local government units in the Bicol region. So because of our projects, because of the program of the city regarding smoke free, we were able to, to, uh, to uh, give uh, emphasis on other LGUs to follow suit, the importance of regulating smoking. So with this, Legazpi was the target, especially the, me as the uh, chief executive officer, and now my wife, but still I'm very active as a city administrator. So they're, they're continuously monitoring me and giving me a, a, uh, a reason to be friendly to them. So I hope that uh, the relationship should stay, but the program of the LGU concerned should continue. That's why we respect each other. And no matter what, as I've signed in one of the interview, that we were even offered uh, a livelihood in the amount of 500,000, I rejected it because it will not be, uh, it, it, it will not be uh, in consonance with the ordinance of the city because we have really to be strict on this so that no, no false hope for these people that the local government is really serious in implementing the smoke-free ordinance. So that's the very core of the message that I've shown to the people, not only in Legazpi, but in the entire world, that Legazpi is really focused. Even though there will be some external, uh, uh, what do you call this, uh, ex external pressures or, or offers, we will stay focused. And this is, I think, what Legazpi has now. The seriousness, backed up by Asangonian, who is also willing to support the chief executive. That's the secret of Legazpi, why we're so successful in the implementation. So aside from the uh, 500,000 pesos uh, offer or like the offer, they give you some gifts? What yeah, I, I think, uh, oh, to, to be fair for this industry, maybe they're doing that even to other, other LGUs with, with or without an ordinance. Mm -hmm. But then this may be of one of their uh, strategies to be friendly to LGUs, especially the executives. Uh, in exchange, what did they ask you? Nothing, really. The only thing that really uh, struck me was the offer of the, for livelihood. Because that, if you will accept that, there's an implied uh, agreement already that maybe uh, the city accepts the presence of the tobacco industry or the or the corporation concerned. What particular livelihood they try to ask? No, any livelihood that concerns public uh, welfare. No. Mm -hmm. So they are the one. You are the one to decide what kind. Of yeah, yeah, yeah. They will just fund it with the amount. Of yeah, money. to be we have, we have to be honest that uh, they are also moving because the campaign now of the DOH and the LGUs concerned like Makati, Dabao, Legazpi City, who are all in the forefront of this campaign, really make some, uh, make some uh, uh, reason or was able to convince other LGUs. As a matter of fact, in, in Bicol right now, because of what Legazpi is doing, almost all the LGUs now from municipality to cities, even the province of Balbay, wants to follow mm -hmm. because they know now the, the basis of this ordinance. We are not banning, but we want to regulate out of respect for respect for others. No? Mm 